This is Mahmoud Hassan Mehra. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDOS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this, this is the isometric view, this is the front view and this is the top view. So first of all, I will start drawing from the front view. In the front view, I will draw this circle and this circle has a dimension of 60 diameter. Then I will draw another circle. Uh, this circle has a dimension of 42 diameter and they are 105 unit apart from each other. And after that, I will actually boss it to 20 unit okay let's go back to our sketch so i am selecting the front plane here now right click on it now sketch now normal to it after that select the circle from here and place the circle here and draw a circle of 60 diameter so after that select a line center line and draw a center line here to here uh, of 105 unit and now from the center line uh, select circle and draw another circle of 42 diameter so now press ok now I submit ticket for a better view now go to features now it should boss now it should boss it to 20 unit and I will actually boss it from the mid plane now press ok after that let's go back to our sketch again in our sketch we can see we have a circular path here and another circular path here and both the circular path uh, if we look at this upper circular part has a dimension of radius 115 unit and this lower circular part has a dimension of radius 60 unit after that i will draw con i will convert this circle and i will convert this circle line then i will extrude to boss then i will to to boss it to 10 unit okay then then we can see we have another inner extrude cut portion and for drawing this inner edge cut portion uh, we will offset this two line and after offsetting this two line i will draw a another cent another circular line here another circular line here then i will issue cut in this portion after that we can see we have fillets here and this is a r8 radius set fillet so i will do r8 fillets in each other okay let's go back to our sketch so I am selecting the front plane here, now right click on it, now sketch, now normal to it, after that select a circle and draw a circle of 115 radius multiplied by 2, okay. So this circle has been drawn, now select the, select the circle and drag this in this way, okay. After that select the circle and select one of the previous circle and from the relation select the tangent, now press ok. Now again select the circle and select another previous circle and now select the add relation tangent. Now press ok. Now select the previous two circle. Now we will convert into this, this previous two circle. So I am select the convert into this. Now select the trim option from here and trim all the unnecessary line that we don't need. Now we need to draw another tangent uh, circular path. For that I am selecting the circle tool here and draw a circle of 60 radius 60 multiplied by 2 120 diameter circle now select the circle and select one of the previous circle now select the relation tangent now press ok do same this for other uh, other portion also so selecting this both circle now select tangent now press ok now again select the trim entities and trim the unnecessary line that we don't need so uh, now I submit it for a better view now go to features now is to boss now is to boss it to 10 unit and is to boss it from the mid plane now press ok now again select the front plane now sketch now normal tweet now select this line and offset this line and we also will offset this line from 8 unit and reverse the direction okay now press ok and do the same in the lower portion also select this arc now offset into this now dimension set to 8 now press ok now select this previous two cycle for the circular path now convert into this and now select the trim option and trim all the necessary line that we don't need here now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features now is to cut now is to cut it to through all both now press ok now it's time for fillet so our fillet is radius 8 so i'm selecting the fillet from here and dimension to radius 8 and select this portion now rotate here and select this inner line and in the other side also select the same do the same thing okay so we have selected all the lines now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view let's go back to our case in our case we can see we have two circular cut one circular cut is this one and this circular cut has a 
uh, dimension of 20 diameter and we have another circular cut here and this circular cut has a dimension of 30 diameter but we have another uh, rectangle like portion here and for cutting this rectangle portion uh, we will draw a center line from here and this center line has a dimension of 33 unit then i'll draw two offset line one is here and another is here and this half dimension will be for eight divided by two so it will be four unit then i'll trim all the unnecessary part then i'll uh, then the finally the shape will look like in this way okay then i will trim uh, then i'll issue cut this two portion after that we can see we have some fillet here there and here and there and the all the eight fillet are reduced to unit okay let's do the final work so let's go back to our sketch and select the font plane now sketch now normal tweet after that select the circle and place the circle to the previous circle center line uh, center and this circle has a dimension of 20 diameter okay now again draw another circle and this circle has a dimension of 33 diameter now select the center line and place the center line here and draw a center line of 33 unit uh, we think we have done a mistake so i'll undo this one okay i'll draw again the center line so i'm selecting okay okay we have done uh, dimensioning uh, uh, this dimension will be 30 unit okay so it's my dimension dimension this again and this dimension is 30 unit okay now press ok now select the center line from here and press place a center line here and draw a center line of 33 unit okay and now select the offset entities and select line and offset will be 8 divided by 2 unit so 4 unit now bidirectional cap in line now press ok now select the expand dimension tool now zoom in here and trim the unnecessary line that we don't need okay the stream the unnecessary line that we don't need so we have got our shape now i simply take it for a better view now go to features now is to cut now is to cut it to through all both now press ok so this is cut portion has been done done now it's time for filleting now is the fillet and this time the fillet dimension is two radius so i am selecting uh, this side this side this side rotate here and select this side and as again the other side do the same things so i am selecting this line this line and this upper line and also rotate and select this lower line also now press ok so all the fillet has been done now i submit it for a better view so as you can see we have done our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different